hooks when you're looking to um, harvest 18650 cells and build another pack you're gonna be doing a lot of this so what I've done is I've basically taken all the cells out of the laptop cases recycled all the plastic um, and the metal and so on and now I'm left with all these cells so what I did, picked up a couple a couple different chargers, I'll probably do a review on these, but these are 18650 chargers and testers. And they'll actually do uh, like a 24 hour or so test on all of the cells. They'll come back and they'll give you the, of course they'll give you the voltage, so it tries to charge it, or charges the cell if it can up to 4.2 volts. Um, it'll give you the milliamp hour and also the internal resistance. So once you get all that, and you figure out what size cell you're going to create, then you want to come to a program, hopefully you can see this, you want to come to a program, our website here, called Repacker. What that allows you to do is punch in all of the uh, milliamp hours and helps you build packs inside the cells, inside the whole battery, out of all the different cells. So here we see so all the milliamp hours for the cells, you punch it all in, comma separated, boom, 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 everything goes through. Then you specify your pack dimensions. So for what I'm doing here, I wanted a 10S, 10P, so 10 serial with 10 parallel for each pack. And then it goes through all of the numbers you've input and then breaks out the packs for you. So there's my parallel pack zero. Uh, it also gives you a summary here. So. It's, a, it's going to be, so the battery is 3.6 volt nominal, which is, which is correct. It comes up to a 36 volt battery pack in the end with a 24.13 amp hour. And that'll be 868.68 watt hours. You can take this, export it to a CSV, which is kind of handy just in case you, uh, you mess it up when you're putting it in, because I have done that. You put 100 cells in and miss a comma or put the wrong number on a cell by flipping a couple digits so when you put them in just make sure you go through the the cells again just to make sure you have the the correct milliamp hours in there and you didn't transpose a couple numbers but that really cool thing about this is it breaks down your packs so my first pack I can go through and find the battery the cell and check off as I put it in and it'll tell you your total capacity for that, there's a lot of dust on the screen. Wow, a lot of pollen here. Um, tells you the capacity for that cell, the divergence, and the deviation between the capacity of each one. So it tries to take what you have and put the best cells together across all packs. So as you see, as I go through here, I have 10 different packs. And then it'll even tell you the unused cells. So I have some extra cells now. These are ones that just didn't didn't fit in with all of the calculations that uh, that went on. So I'm going through now and as I build my pack I come over here and say okay I'm looking for 2409. Now I did lay out the cells in somewhat of an order until I ran out of space. So then I have to go through and, and find that was 2509. I know my 25s are up around here somewhere. So I find cell number 25. And this is what I mean. See, I'm looking for 2509, and I see I have a 2590. So hopefully I didn't transpose that when I punched it in. 2509. I put it in there. As you can see, as I'm going along, these are the different cell packs. So that was pack zero you see all the positives are up this is the parallel pack two or one I should say that's zero this is one all of the negatives are up and then you keep doing this back and forth in the in the pack that I'm building here is going to be this long here so I'm just doing the positive negative positive negative so as I go through I'll connect all these together as one cell and then I'll hook the negatives to those underneath to the positives of those. I hook all these up together and I'll do the same. These here will go over to the positive of this one. And then from the negative I'll hook to the positive, negative to positive, negative to positive. So that keeps on kind of 
looping back and forth. And what you end up with is 10 packs in series with 10 cells in parallel. There's going to be a pretty big size, pretty good size one here. Um, it's going to be pretty heavy, so we'll see how well it does. I don't know how I'm going to mount it up yet, but I'll work on that. Maybe put it in a bag. I'm not sure, but I'm still waiting for my BMS, a um, couple cables, connectors, things like that to put it together. So, so far I'm just going to connect these, hook this up. I'm still undecided on whether I'm going to do the spot welding on it. I think I'm going to pick up a cheap spot welder and just use the... Um, the nickel strips and then just spot weld right across on all of those that way it keeps lower uh, less amount of heat on the cell because the cell will be damaged with the uh, with a lot of heat so if you start soldering them you could run into some problems um, but I again I haven't decided if I'm going to solder or not probably not um, but it depends on if I can get a half decent priced uh, spot welder I guess I call them spot welder for the cell uh, so basically, my suggestion is lay out your packs um, with the milliamp hour. Try to keep them all together, your 2700s, your 26s, and then your 25s, 24s. Because as you go searching for them, it'll make it a little quicker to find them. And you'll find some of the smaller ones, like this one here is only 1556 milliamp hour. Those are the ones that aren't going to be used. So I can use those for a smaller pack or just something else to play around with. Um, some of the cells here that didn't test out... Uh, if anything was lower than 4.1 volts, after charging, letting sit for a week or two weeks, I wanted to see how far the, the voltage would go on the cells. Anything that dropped below 4.1 kind of stuck them off to the side because they're not something I'll use in this pack here. So every one of these cells measures at least 4.1 volts. So that is the beginning. Um, once I get the BMS, I'll do another section here. Um, if I run into any other items that I think might be interesting, I will also loop you in on that. Um, but this is the beginning of my battery pack. It's going to be 36 volt, um, 10S, 10P.